Hey you. Welcome or welcome back. Before we get into today's video, I would like to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Timu. Timu is an online website where you can buy pretty much anything. They have a huge category of products, so it can be kitchen items, bathroom items, things for your car, or stationery, office supplies, anything you can think of, they probably have it on their website, which wow. is absolutely incredible. They also usually have sales up to 90% off site-wide in all of those categories. So for me personally, I picked up a bunch of stationery because my niece she'll be starting high school this year so she definitely needs a lot of products and I also got myself some things too so I got her this tape because it's adorable it's rainbow tape I don't know why you would ever need it but it's adorable I also got these notebooks so that she can write all her notes down in school and then I got myself a planner because I am horrible with time management and this will help me plan out my YouTube videos as well as my Japanese language studies so I'm definitely gonna be using that very soon I also got these really adorable pins Look how cute they are. And I also got a clip because you can never have too many clips as a girl. Then I also got my niece a planner because again, she's bad with time management as well. So we'll be working on this together. It's really adorable. Her favorite color is pink. So we got her a pink one. Speaking of pink, I got these slippers. I know they're freaking adorable but I also got her a pair too and she has a pink smiley face so if you'd like some too just use the link in my description box download the Timu app or you can just use my code which is here and then we can just be matching together it's honestly a really great website they have a ton of just every kind of product it's kind of like a Walmart online so there's not much to dislike here they're really affordable you can get your money back if you don't like something that you purchased and everything's pretty high quality i've been using these slippers again every day and i absolutely love them they're so comfortable and my niece has already been using the tape and some of the pens and she really likes them too so if you would like any of these products again i would definitely recommend going to their website and without further ado we'll get back to the video now before i bring in my niece I have to clarify a few things. So I know the title says my sister, and that is because my niece is like my sister. We live together. I have been there since she was a baby and we're really, really close. So I consider her my sister, but technically she's my niece and she calls me auntie. I say she's my niece, so she is my niece, but really she's my sister. So <laughs> I wanted to get that out of the way first before I have her picking my books. Now. I've been trying to get her into reading for the longest time. She's, uh, I don't know. She doesn't really like it. I don't think she has like the attention span to really enjoy a book because you know with most books, it takes a little bit of time before it really starts picking up and she doesn't have the attention span for that. So I'm hoping with getting her to pick my books today, maybe she'll find some that she'll enjoy too. So that's the secret mission. She doesn't know that. Now she can pick any book from my bookshelf or from the windowsill. So literally every single book I own is up for grabs besides obviously the books I've already read. Essentially, I just want her to be able to pick any book that grabs her attention so then I can know what kind of book she actually likes because right now I've just been throwing paint at the wall I've been just picking any books that I personally find interesting and then she doesn't end up liking them so yeah this is my other attempt of finding new books that she'll like hopefully this works under the guise of her picking my TBR so I think it's pretty sneaky I don't know <laughs> pretty proud of myself here but I'm gonna go get her now and then she'll pick my books and I guess those will be the books that I'll be reading in August. Let's go. All right, here goes nothing. Come on, Nye. Hi. So this is my sweetie pie. She's gonna be picking my books today. I have no idea what she's gonna pick. Again, she has complete range. She can pick any book on here or any book in my Kindle too. So if you don't see a book here that you know of in your head, you can also pick a book on my Kindle, okay? Okay. So. Let me just, let me just tell you the vibes. So right now it's summer. I kind of want to read something fun, nothing really scary, you know, maybe a thriller here or there, but not like, not like something that's going to make me depresso expresso, you know what I'm saying? Like sad? Yeah, exactly. Maybe something uplifting or like funny. I think that's what I'm going for. Okay. Okay. All right, here goes nothing. So you can pick four to five books and these will be the books I'll read in August. I usually read four, but I'm gonna shoot for five. You can pick anything on the bookshelf and these are also the books from my windowsill because we have not put on a new bookshelf yet. Give me some time. All right, shoot for it. You can pick literally any book and tell us why, Nye. Okay, uh, you need some romance in your life. I do, she's not wrong. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you need some sunshine. Sunshine. Oh, I read yeah, that this. too. Yeah. 
black cake. I've read that. Yeah. Oh my, you do a lot of reading, Auntie. I do. Uh, a Tale for the Time Being. I've wanted to read that for so long. Why are you a lot of pages, though? Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Normal people. Have you read that I one? have read that. Oh my gosh. She's picking things. every single book that I've read. The Maid? The Maid. No, I have not read that. Okay, finally. The Maid. It's a novel. A dead body is one mess she can't clean up on her own. Molly Gray is not like everyone else. She struggles with social skills and often misreads people's intentions. She's soon caught in a web of deception with no idea how to untangle herself. Mm. Okay, I picked this one. This one? Okay, yeah. we've got one, The Maid. I've actually heard this was very good, so I'm excited. Okay, have you read Girl? I have read Girl. It wasn't that great, but. And you said that this one by a, a thread was horrible. No. Oh, see, every summer after, did you read this one? No. I mean, you want something jolly in summer. It's summer. <laughs> it's true. true. It's New York Times bestseller. They all say New York Times bestseller, but this does sound really good. Six summers to fall in love, romance. Mm -hmm, romance. One moment to fall apart. A weekend to get it right. I think this one too. I mean, it looks pretty. I mean, like, it's it like does. an ocean. Can they see? Yeah. Okay, hey, yeah. It's like an ocean, there's two people. Yeah, you need okay. some romance in your life. Also. I do need some romance. I mean, she's not wrong. Can't keep being delusional about Jungkook. Um, anyway, go ahead, you can pick the next one. <laughs> I don't want an uncle. <laughs> Side note, um, this is embarrassing. I told her that, I told her that Jungkook is gonna be her uncle, so that's why she said that. Um, you didn't have to expose me like that <laughs> to 34,000 people, but okay, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Next book. Seven Days in June. Did you read this? No. So, I mean, it's it's romance. Uh, what are you trying to say, Nye? <laughs> you need some romance in your life, Auntie. I'm screaming internally. Yeah. Seven Seven Days to Fall in Love, 15 Years to Forget, and Seven Days to Get It All Back Again. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, That's, we got another romance. That's the last romance book. Okay. Okay. Little Fires Everywhere. I don't know. No. No. I'm not gonna pick that one. Okay. Did you read this? I did read that. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No. She doesn't like anything. What kind of genre do you like? What genre Fantasy. do you like? Fantasy. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> okay. A lesson before dying. Did you read this one? No, but I heard it's sad. I'm picking this one. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna, actually. No, I'm not gonna do that to okay. you. Life of Pi. Did you read that? That is supposed to be really amazing, but no, I have not read it. You can't read it. I mean, you can read it. I mean, I believe in you, but okay. <laughs> I have read that. Did you read All the Boys I've Loved Before? I did. Remember we watched all the movies? Oh yeah, she showed me. And I need to finish. I didn't finish like the last movie. You didn't? Yeah, we gotta watch <laughs> that. Yeah, finish. but the book does not stand up to the movies at all. It is not That's good. not even the girl. I know. Well, yeah, they wrote the book before the show. Oh, I yeah. thought the movie, I thought the show was before the, the books. Yeah. yeah, no. The picture of in gray. Did you read that? No, but it's a classic. Oh, so you're going to read it. I'm going to read it? Yeah. Oh, wow. We've got a very diverse pile for August. It looks like it's in the back 1970s times. Uh, How long ago do you think 1970 was? Like 100. I'm <laughs> You're depressed. sick of oh, here. I'm like, wow. Okay, so we'll read a classic. The oh. Picture of Dorian Gray. One more. Can I swap out books? Yes, you can. Please, for love of God. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay. So, the maid looks pretty good. It does look good. I'm going to take seven days out. The seven days of June? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take that one out and put but you're gonna in. keep the picture of Dorian Gray? You want a classic, right? No. <laughs> Not in August. It's still summer. Okay, I'll stop that one now. Okay, you. I appreciate it. Next pile. Alright. The Little Prince. You read this, right? A thousand times. I love that book. I read this book too, actually. I made her That's read cool. it, yeah. You read it at school too? Oh, I didn't know that. I cried at the movie. Really? Yeah, we did. We watched the movie a few times. It's pretty good. It's so sad. It is. Oh, this is uh, Frederico Lorca. He's supposed to be like a really, really famous playwright in Spain. And eventually, I want to live in Spain, so I got this book for Christmas last year. And it's supposed to be his best plays, so 
Mm -hmm. Eventually, I want to read that. Oh, I think I want to switch this one out with the Dorian Gray. Yeah. Okay. Wow, we have a really diverse pile. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And I'm gonna pick the order. Okay. Did you read this one? Yes. This one? No, that is my yearbook. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know everything about her. <laughs> oh, did you read this one? No, I have not. I thought you read this one already. No, I've had it for a long time though. Unless it's in chemistry. It was supposed to be the best book last year. Chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman. In fact, Elizabeth Zott would be the first to point out that there is no such thing as an average woman. Mm. So it's like feminism, kind of. Okay, big words. Okay, this is my last book. Okay, so, so far we have Lessons in Chemistry, which is supposed to be a really good book, so I'm not mad at this one. The Maid, which is a book I've been meaning to read, but not really the summer vibes I was looking for. And Every Summer After, classic summer read. I'm very excited for that one. Kiss Her Once For Me. I've heard good things, so I don't mind that one. And this is just three plays written by Frederico Lorca. So I don't know how this one's gonna go. I did so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did good. You can now pick the order of the way I'm gonna read them in August. Okay, let's see. Am I gonna follow this to the T? We don't know. We'll see. Okay, the murder's gonna be first. Okay. And then plays, romance, and then moments again. Okay. And then feminism. After okay, wow. you're done. If Kiss Her Once For Me makes you sad, then you can read this feminist book. Okay. And it will make you feel independent. Okay. I like the thought process. Maybe you won't have to bring home that man, Jungkook, and we would be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Okay, this is the order. All right, so apparently in August, I will be reading The Maid, which is a murder mystery. I've heard it was very good. It's by Nita Prose. Then we'll follow that up with three plays by playwright Federico Lorca. He's supposed to be a really big deal in Spain. Then we'll be reading Every Summer After, and this is by Carly Fortune. I've heard this was very good. I haven't uh, read the back or anything, but I've heard it was very good. I think I picked it up in Target one day. Then the fourth book will be Kiss Her Once For Me, which sounds really adorable actually, so I'm excited for that. And last but not least, Lessons in Chemistry. I have been meaning to read this forever. I think I've had it for a year. And I just haven't read the book yet, so. I thought that she read it already. Yeah, no. I just keep buying books and I, <laughs> I don't get to reading them, so. I guess that's fair. All of these books will be my August reads. Thank you guys so much for joining me and my niece. She's so cute, thank you. And again, she likes fantasy. Don't let me forget so I can get her some books, okay. All right, I love you guys. Please like and subscribe if you lasted this long and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha